Oh, what just happened? Was, was that a dream? Is my husband actually dead? Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. I begged for Cesare to spare him, my dear husband, and he agreed to me and said the two of them would meet face to face. How could he kill him? Oh, oh, I remember now. It was Ptolemeo. This is his fault. What on earth was he thinking? He has inserted himself into a conflict that was none of his business. Cesare and my husband Pompeo had been fighting for a few years, but Cesare finally defeated my dear husband. Pompeo fled, and I was worried about Cesare killing him. I had to beg for his life, and Cesare agreed on the condition that the two men meet in person. I felt so confident that I had done my duty as a faithful wife, and I would get to see Pompeo again, alive. But the next time I saw him, it was his head in a box. It was delivered by a pompous, proud fool, a leader of Ptolemeo's army, Aquila. I feel only a mixture of unspeakable grief and hatred. <sighs> I am glad, at least, that Cesare had nothing to do with this an unforgivable act. Although this may be true, my stepson Sesto and I no longer feel safe among the Cesarean squadrons. Having Pompeo still alive was sort of an assurance that he that we wouldn't die. Cesare defeated my husband, and he died before they can, could converse. I don't think Cesare has any use for us now, and and I'm afraid he what of what he might do to us. For now, however. I am trying to turn my focus to my dear Sesto. He is angry not only because of the death of his father, but because Curio has asked for my hand in marriage, in exchange for vengeance for my husband's death. I, of course, would never accept this proposal, but Sesto was angry that an enemy who indirectly played a part in my husband's death would try to take me away from him as well. Sesto, in his anger, has sworn to kill Ptolemeo. While I am depressed, and I do not think another death would, would help me in my grief, I cannot stop Sesto. He feels a duty to his father, and I respect this loyalty. Although I want to die, there is no hope for me of leaving this life. I love Sesto, and I do not want to leave him. I know he would not be able to handle both his father's death and my death in such a short amount of time. But for now, the mercy of death is denied to me.